Hey guys, today is going to be a whole different type of video. I'm here at uh, AM Aviation. I've been taking helicopter lessons. I actually kept it quiet for my wife for about four or five months. There's a whole story behind that. But anyway, I've been flying airplanes since I've been 18 and I've always wanted to learn about helicopters. So I don't quite have my license, but I'm getting real close. So I'm going to take you guys with my instructor and show you the town of Omaha, where I live, some of the job sites. It'll be a great video, a lot of exciting things to look at. So look at this helicopter pre-flighted and uh, get it in the air. Let's go. All right, let me take you guys back here and show you. They have several helicopters. They actually have two little ones. Those are called the R-22s. R stands for Robinson. Then they have two bigger four-seaters, and that's called the Robinson R-44. So today we'll be flying this blue one, and that's what I've been learning in quite a bit. There's also an orange one. My job is when I get here, my instructor stays up, and I have to pre-flight the helicopter, which means I got to go through and make sure everything is in order, check the fuel. So I'll walk you through that process. There's a lot of buttons and different things I need to check. So this is the side I sit on. On a helicopter, you sit on the right side. Typically on an airplane, you sit on the left. And I always need my flashlight. There's a lot of nuts and bolts and stuff you need to check. So first thing first is I open up all these panels to get a look inside. It feels warm, they must have been flying it so I can you can feel the heat coming off of it. Okay, so what I do is I turn on the batteries and I'm doing is a look and see what kind of fuel is in the helicopter. We're not going very far today. We have a little under a half tank on the main big one and then about a quarter on the smaller side. So now I come on the back and then I start running through the systems on this other side. I check to make sure all the lights work, the emergency lights. This is a fuel filter. So in here, when you park the helicopter, this is the brake that stops the blade from rotating. So I need to release that because I have to climb up and make sure everything's in order. So my next step, I have to climb up here, check all these fittings and every little nut and bolt has a white paint on it. So if the paint and the bolt where it's painted is not matching up, that means something has come loose and that's throughout the whole helicopter. So this looks good. So I climb back down, now put the brake back on. The brake's for when you go outside in case it's windy, you don't want it flopping around. So now I check the fuel to make sure there's no contaminants in the fuel tank. And you smell it, make sure it's not water. Then you look for bubbles. There's no bubbles, so it's all good. So I put it back in. There's another one down here. No water bubbles. Smells like gas. I said gas. Remember I said about the bolts? So you can see all these little fittings. You want to make sure that paint, all those little paint things, nothing's moved. So I pull this. This is for the tail rotor filter. Make sure there's no birds and bugs clear down in there. Then I make sure the rail, the tail section is connected. There's nuts and bolts there as well that have all been painted. There's four locations. That all checks out. You want to make sure all these are secure. You don't want them coming off, opening up in the air. And then you check the antennas, make sure nothing's loose. Then you run your hand, check all the rivets. And then the last, we check the oil. Wow, you guys change oil? It's clean. It's really fresh. It's like yeah. 100 hours. Wow, it's so fresh, it's, like it's hard to read.
Yeah, you know you got too much money when you fly into a home building site on a helicopter. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a different video. I really, I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. I'd love to hear more if you guys want to see more of these helicopter flights going to the different job sites. But that hopefully gave you a little taste of the town that I was born and raised in, Omaha, Nebraska. We flew through downtown. We even landed in Flair's backyard. Not every day you get to fly a helicopter and land in Flair's backyard. Hopefully you got to see a nice bird's eye view of everything. I was kind of wondering what Ralph the Camel was up to when I came in. He's my buddy. But with that, I really appreciate you guys hanging out. Please give me your comments. I'd love to hear from you. And with that, I'm going to be off to the next job site. I'm Brad the Builder. See you soon. Hi, I'm Brad the Builder. Today I'm here to ask for your help. We have a member of the Brad the Builder family, Colin Doyle. He is in a wheelchair. He's also an ex-Marine that has toured in Iraq and has two Purple Hearts. He is currently in the hospital, has been in and out of the hospital for the last several years. And what I've learned is Colin is in desperate need of a barrier-free, handicap accessible bathroom and also some parts of his home as well. So I'm here to ask for your help. I want to raise $20,000 so that we can go down and I have a contractor that I've been working with that will come in and help us get the labor, do the demo but we have to raise this money to buy the expensive materials that it takes to put this together. I've done several of these in my market, and the bad part is these handicap accessible items are extremely expensive, and that's why it's hard to really see them in homes, but we're gonna make this happen with your help so that Colin Doyle can come home from the hospital and spend less time in the hospital and more time with his family. I also have a friend, Theo, down in Little Rock, Arkansas, is extremely talented. I want to show you what he is going to do for Colin by building these beautiful cutting boards. Welcome to my shop. It's a nice chilly day in Arkansas. This is where I do most of my woodworking. Brad and I are working on a project together. We're going to try to uh, raise some money to, to help some disabled veterans out. My part of it is I'm using all this scrap lumber to see if I can build some cutting boards and some other things. And you can see around in my shop, I'm kind of in the process of quite a few things. Here's an example of one that I'm working on. This is actually, a, you know, a lot of people do these projects and they end up throwing this wood away, but I mean, some of this wood is actually pretty impressive. This is a zebra wood. This is wingy. I have it all clamped up right now. You cut it down and, you know, this is obviously the early stages, but once I get it cleaned up, this, this board is gonna be spectacular. As you can see, those are some beautiful cutting boards. Theo has actually sent one up to me. There's only a limited supply. We have 30 of these cutting boards that are going to be made available free to you with a donation on my website. 
If that's uh, too much money, you can just donate cash to help with the funds, or I have hats and I have shirts that anytime you buy those on my website, 100% of all these funds are going towards Colin's cause. I'm confident that we can make this happen, and with your help, we can change Colin's life. So please donate now. I'm Brad the Builder, and as always, I'll see you guys at the next job site.